Shout out to Willis HL on Twitter for sending me this story where you have this obvious Asian American woman out of Arizona. It says that she killed her two kids with a meat cleaver. I could not even imagine how torturous that had to be for them kids. But let's go ahead and get into it. A woman threatened to stab her husband over an argument about money to move to Japan before she allegedly killed her, their two children with a meat cleaver in a suburban Phoenix apartment. Yui Inoue, and I probably mispronounced her name, age 40, remained jailed on suspicion of two counts of first degree murder, according to Temp Police. So she got mad with her husband for wanting to go to Japan. She tries to kill him, but then takes it out on the kids and kills them both. It was unclear Sunday if Yui had a lawyer yet who could speak on her behalf. Police said the woman primarily speaks Japanese and had an interpreter for their interviews. Yui drove to a police station about 7 a.m. Saturday and told officers she was hearing voices telling her to kill her children. Uh Uh-oh, she going for that insanity plea. Police said a seven-year-old boy and a nine-year-old girl whose names weren't immediately released were found dead in the apartment. The two bodies were under a blanket and boxes, and there were significant injuries to their bodies, including numerous lacerations, incised wounds, and some amputations. That means she was hacking at their bodies. Consistent with a violent attack and defensive wound, says Sergeant Stephen Carbajal, a temp's police spokesperson. He said Inouye had blood and lacerations on her body when she was detained and there were blood stains in her vehicle. A meat cleaver with a 6-inch or 15-centimeter blade <coughs> excuse me, was found inside a bag with blood-stained clothing in her vehicle, according to Carbajal. There were several pieces of information or evidence that led detectives to believe that the cleaver was the weapon used during this incident. Police said Inoui told them she woke up around 4.30 a.m. Saturday with blood on her hands and arms and the two children were dead and bloody near the doorway of the bedroom. Yui didn't believe she had killed her children but said she couldn't remember and quote-unquote woke up to the situation after taking a bath. (sighs) This situation, I'm not even done reading, but I'm just had to stop right quick. Because the amount of BS that she's spewing out that voices told her to kill her children is not flying with me how many times have her done stories on this channel where we had people who have murdered their children or whoever and claim that voices in their head made them do it like i said she's going for the insanity plea hopefully them first degree murder charges stick police said they had been called to the same apartment earlier saturday morning because of a domestic dispute involving a husband and wife so they had to make two trips out there Police said Inouye's husband confirmed he had left the apartment about 12.30 a.m. Saturday after arguing with her over money. He said the children were asleep at the time of the argument and he didn't have concerns about Inouye harming them. I would have used that intuition. Police also said there was no apparent reason at the time to call child welfare authorities. The man told police he slept until morning in the vehicle in the parking lot of a bank where he works. Carbajal said the officers who discovered the bodies were not the same ones who were at the apartment on the other, on the earlier domestic dip- dispute call. The officers who found the dead children were receiving counseling. Dang, that's crazy. They said they had to receive counseling after what they saw. That's crazy. But yeah. She's going for the insanity plea for sure. Most definitely. And I hope she doesn't get it. Like this woman hacked her children up because of money and a dispute between her and her husband and tried to kill her husband. So the domestic the domestic dispute pretty much begins with her. I want I wonder. I need to know. Because she said the voices in her head told her to kill her children, but there were no voices around when she tried to kill her husband. If she don't sit her raggedy ass down somewhere. And this kind of story happens all the time. That's why I say when it comes to domestic disputes, when it comes to stuff like that, don't always think that it's the man doing this to the wife or whoever the female counterpart may be in the relationship. A lot of times it be it, it, it it's obviously and sometimes her that's doing this over money. And she used a meat cleaver, something that's used to chop up meat and she used it on her on both of her kids because of of an argument and a disagreement she was having with her husband. That lets me know what type of person she probably is because she didn't get her way. She took it out on her kids. But the the insulting thing, which is the, like I said, the insult to my intelligence, and y'all know that's a pet peeve of mine, is the fact that she tried to blame it on voices in her head. 
This is one sick bitch. And I hope she gets the extreme max for whatever she's sentenced to. I don't know what the death penalty is like in for Arizona, but they if if it is one and she gets found guilty and she can get capital punishment, they need to extradite that. Don't let her sit and rot in jail for years. Get it done as soon as possible. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Oh, and before I go, the obvious to the Asian American community AAPI uh what's your take about this because i haven't seen anyone talk about this because a black person sent me this story not an asian person but then again i wouldn't expect an asian american person to send me a story about their filth <laughs>